In this video, we continue to present our beliefs regarding biblical chronology, despite all the scoffers and mockers who say that we supposedly blaspheme because we do it. Because, as those scoffers say, not even Jesus knows the day or the hour of his coming. However, we are not the ones who blaspheme because we are only fulfilling Christ's commandment to watch and to search the scriptures. The blasphemers are, in fact, those who come to wait to mock us when some of our interpretations of the date of the second coming are not fulfilled. Those who mock us are blasphemers because by teaching that Jesus allegedly does not know the day and hour of his coming, they are actually preaching that Jesus Christ is not God, that he is not the Messiah, that he is not Almighty, that he is not Pantocrator, as much as God the Father and God the Holy Spirit are. Therefore, those who call us blasphemers are in fact blasphemers themselves, because they deny omniscience, omniscience of Jesus Christ, which means the divinity of Jesus Christ, and which is the sin of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, which will not be forgiven in this age or in the age to come. So, of course, Jesus Christ is God, and of course, he knows the day and hour of his coming. And of course, we also can know that too, if despite all the scoffers and mockers and blasphemers, we continue to fulfill his commandment to watch and search the scriptures. And now, let's move on to the chronology of the ascension of the church on December 22, 2022. The event of resurrection of Lazarus described in the 11th chapter of the Gospel according to John testifies of the day of resurrection of the wise virgins. It happened soon after the eighth day of Hanukkah, that is, the first day of the 10th biblical month, that is, December 15th, according to the Gregorian calendar which we talked about extensively in the previous video. That it was really the time soon after the Hanukkah feast when the Jews wanted to kill Jesus by stoning. We know from the fact that when Jesus said to the disciples, let us go again to Judea for the resurrection of Lazarus, they answered him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now seeking to stone you, and yet you are going there again. It is significant to note that it was also said that Jesus did not leave immediately, but waited two days, and then told the disciples that Lazarus had died. Then it is said that Jesus raised Lazarus on the fourth day after his death. This means that from the news of Lazarus' illness to Jesus and disciples until Lazarus' resurrection, a total of two plus four, that is six days passed. When we add to that one day of Jesus' departure from Jerusalem on the last day of Hanukkah, when the Jews tried to stone him, we get that a total of seven days passed. Therefore, Scripture tells us that seven days passed from the last day of Hanukkah, which is the first day of the tenth biblical month, Tebet, to the resurrection of Lazarus, which symbolizes the resurrection of the Church of the Wise Virgins, that is, that the resurrection of Lazarus took place on the eighth day of the tenth biblical month. This, we believe, is a testimony that the future resurrection of the Church of the Wise Virgins will take place on that very day, which according to the Gregorian calendar is 22nd of December 2022. 
Furthermore, it is significant that the scripture says that from that day, that is, from the day of the resurrection of Lazarus, Jesus no longer walked pub publicly among the Jews, which is a foreshadowing of the disappearance of the church, that is, the resurrection and ascension of the church, which also from that day, due to the rapture, will no longer be visible on earth. That December 22, 2022, is also the day of Jupiter, i.e. Thursday, on which we believe the ascension of the Church can only happen. We talked about this in the previous video, as well as in the article found below in the description of the video. Then, December 22 is the eighth day of the Biblical month, and the Biblical chronology links the resurrection to the eighth day. That great last day of the feast, in which Jesus said these words about the resurrection, were said on the eighth day of the Feast of Tabernacles, which testifies that the day of the resurrection must be some eighth day in Biblical chronology. That last day was also mentioned by Martha, sister of Lazarus, testifying that the day on which the resurrection of Lazarus took place was precisely that last or eighth day, and that the resurrection and ascension of the Church will also take place on that same day. Then, Scripture also testifies that both Enoch and the people who followed him to the end were raptured on the eighth day. In the 33rd verse it is said, And some of them went from him, which is a picture of the foolish virgins who followed Christ, but are not willing to follow him to the end, completely, to the death. That is, those who had dead faith, faith without works. Jesus said, For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Verse 34 he is a picture of wise virgins who are wise because they are ready to die for Christ, to be crucified with Christ, i.e. to really take up their cross and follow Christ, not only in words, but also in action. Then, the snow which is mentioned in verse 38 indicates that the ascension of Enoch took place in the winter time, which is an archetype that reveals that the ascension of the Church of the Wise Virgins will also happen in the winter time, the time after the Hanukkah feast, that is, on Thursday, December 22, 2022. In verse 37, as well as in the following verse 38, it is clearly stated that the kings who had returned and did not follow Enoch to the end, the foolish virgins, set out to find the people who remained with Enoch to the end, that is, the wise virgins, to see if they were alive and not to find Enoch whom they knew had ascended to heaven. This means that the translator mistranslated the pronouns marked in red, which should read a them and a they. So the correct translation is verse 38. And all those kings went to the place, and they found the earth there filled with snow, and upon the snow were large stones of snow. And one said to the other, Come, let us break through the snow and see, perhaps the men that remained it remained with Enoch are dead, and are now under the stones of snow, and they searched but could not find them, for they had ascended into heaven. The meaning of the text clearly shows that these two pronouns cannot possibly refer to Enoch, 
but to the people who remained with him to the end. Therefore, the correct translation of the book of Jasher reveals that not only Enoch, that is Christ, ascended to heaven, but also those who followed Enoch to the end, to death, that is, the wise virgins. It is also significant that Enoch was explicitly said to have ascended on the seventh day, and that the ascension of the people who remained with Enoch until the end is connected to the eighth day. This is said because every eighth day in the biblical month is also the seventh day of the first work, work week in every biblical month. More about this can be read in the text about the biblical Sabbath, which link is located below in the description of the video. So, we see that this testimony of scripture indicates that the eighth day prophetically refers to the future ascension of the wise virgins at the time of the second coming of Christ. That eighth day is, we believe, December 22nd, 2022, i.e. the eighth day of the tenth biblical month of Tebet, which, like the time of its archetype from the time of Enoch, also falls in the winter snowy season. Then, Christ himself was ascended from the Mount of Olives on the ninth day of the third biblical month, which is the first day after the first working week in the month, that is the eighth day. That eighth day of Christ's ascension was also the day of Jupiter, Thursday, just as this December 22nd, 2022, will also be the eighth day of the tenth biblical month and the day of Jupiter, that is Thursday. The day of Christ's ascension was in the sabbatical year, just as this day of the ascension of the Church of the Wise Virgins will also be in the sabbatical year. The words of the angel indicate that the day of Christ's ascension is an archetype of the day in which Church will be raptured. Man of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you have watched him go into heaven. So in the same way Jesus ascended in the sabbatical year, he will come to rapture his church in sabbatical year. Jesus ascended in the day of Jupiter, Thursday, and he will come to rapture his church on the same day, the day of Jupiter, Jupiter Thursday. Another significant testimony that the eighth day of the tenth biblical month of Tebet, that is December 22, 2022, is, we believe, the day of the ascension of the church, is that on that same day Ptolemy, the Egyptian emperor, ordered the translation of the Holy Scriptures into the Greek language. On that day, the Greek language was actually sanctified by the Word of God. The Word of God became incarnate in the first Gentile language. So, that is the day on which the sanctification of the first fruit among the Gentile languages took place, the Greek language. Language is synonymous with people. This means that the, that day refers to the sanctification of the first fruits from the Gentiles with the word of God. What is it if not a prototype of the future resurrection of the wise virgins, i.e. of the first fruits of the church, which will take place on that same day, and which are mainly made up of Gentile believers. Ptolemy, the earthly king, symbolizes Jesus Christ, the heavenly king, who will order the sanctification of the first fruits of the Gentile nations 
on that same day through the resurrection event. It is also sig significant that that day is a day of mourning for the Talmudists. Therefore, what is a day of joy for Christians, a day of resurrection, is a day of mourning for anti-Christians, anti-Christs, the synagogue of Satan. It is also significant that the following ninth day of the tenth month, Tebet, is said in the Talmud tradition to be associated with tribulation of unknown cause, which in fact prefigures the great seven-year tribulation that will begin after the resurrection, ascension, of the church on the 8th of Tebet, that is, on the 9th of 22nd through 23rd of December 2022, according to Jerusalem time. That will be all for this video. Goodbye and God bless.